Girl, we haven't even started talking about you yet. Get away from here. Okay. Hello, the Our Generation design team, marketing team, whoever's in charge of watching this. Um, how are you? It's time for me to talk about you as a brand. This was highly requested as the first video talking about my honest thoughts on other brands other than, you know, the one that I mainly talk about. However, I know for a fact you guys have been clamoring, asking me, DMing me, when are you gonna talk about our generation? When are you gonna do unboxings of our generation? When are you gonna start, you know, talking about their releases? All of that, I'm gonna get there. We will get there. It will be a thing. Don't you worry. I will start to do unboxings on our generation as long as you guys are interested in our generation and wanna see the content, but let it be known, okay? Way back in the day when I was age salon stylist, I actually used to be sponsored and get PR from our generation. Our generation was one one of the first brands that actually truly believed in me when I was 19, actually no, 18, very young, very naive, very dumb. They were like, here, let's send you some PR, do some videos, let's see how things go. And I, being me, of course, was like, yes, a brand that finally supports me. So our generation will always have a very special place in my heart. However, now that I am the doll studio by Chris, it's been years, I sent them a message saying, hey, how are you? I'm back. And they ghosted me. So <laughs> I don't know if we're on good terms. But one thing I loved about our generation and working with them was the fact that they were always open to criticism on things. They were always open. Every video did not have to be like, I love this through and through, 10 out of 10 without batting an eyelash. They were always open to, this could have been tweaked, or I wish that this feature had been a part of this, or I wish I had seen this. They are a brand that is always open to getting critiques, all of that, and they take it so well, and they really, really, really do listen to their audience. So our generation, here we are, let's do this video. Okay, so I have my laptop here. I mean, you can literally see it and my phone, whatever. Anyway, I'm gonna pull up a bunch of stuff from our generation. I'm gonna go online to target.com because that for me is where I mainly see all the our generation stuff. I'm pretty sure they have other places that you can buy their stuff from, but for me, Target is like the place. You can go to Target stores. They have an entire like literal aisle to themselves of our generation stuff, okay? It is always packed with stuff, always new stuff to look at. I always look at the our generation stuff because trust me and believe me when I say like our generation is always releasing stuff, okay? The first thing I want to mention about our generation dolls is the fact that they are a very 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 greatly priced brand and what I mean by that is that their quality matches the price that you're paying for it the outfits yes they are on the like 10 to 15 dollar price point but the quality of them is what you expect there's a lot of pieces that come with it their outfits fit these dolls very nicely they do fit other 18 inch brands sometimes a little bit snug when it comes to certain pieces of clothing but for the most part a lot of it does fit other 18 inch brands the one thing i will say is shoes are a very big hit or miss a lot of the boots do not fit other 18 inch brands but for the most part flats sneakers those things definitely do fit other brands right now that i'm looking at this i okay want to mention the fact that they have a range of dolls from just your basic our generation dolls the fashion dolls to deluxe dolls and that price range is usually between 20 to 30 dollars is usually Usually their soft spot price point that's where most of their dolls are and I appreciate that because they are affordable and those dolls that are on the higher end end up actually having more that come with it so of course you're gonna get more for your money but for the basis usually the dolls are 20 to 25 dollars just as fashion dolls or they go up to 30 35 maybe max yeah 35 if they're not holding a sale but it does come with a lot for the price point so I'm just gonna pick and choose specific specific dolls that I see here. One of their recent dolls that they have is Rosa. She's an 18 inch fashion doll, okay girly? And she has pink hair. She has a really pretty dress. Right now she's on sale, which is a great thing that I love about our generation is that they're holding sales. They are available at Target. And when Target holds a sale or Target is holding a sale on toys, our generation sometimes is a part of that. So this doll usually is $25.99, but she's actually on sale right now for $22.09. She 
she has one of my favorite molds that our generation has ever released. The Melina face mold is one of my favorite face molds. I actually have my original Melina doll from way back in the day here. She is a stunning doll. I will never forget the day that this doll released. All my 18 inch doll friends that I have on the platform, like collector friends, they all like ran for the hills for this doll, okay? Like I had mine in storage for the longest time, but when I found out I was gonna be doing this video, I was like, I need to make sure that I have my hands on this doll because she really is that girl, okay? Her skin texture, her face mold, other 18 inch brands wish that they had come up with this face mold ahead of time because she really is such a sweet, soft face. And this Rosa doll is gorgeous. I think she's absolutely stunning. There is a big wave of like the audience right now for kids is for some reason loving like really bright colored hair. And I don't understand it, but I think that this doll is actually really, really pretty and I don't mind her hair whatsoever. Now I wanna look at one of their more deluxe dolls. So this is Natalia and Nilly. It's a pet training set and it's $26.99, okay? But it comes with more stuff. Like I said before, like the price jump isn't that much, but you're getting a little bit more. You're getting an animal that comes with the doll. You're getting the doll in a really cute outfit. And then you're getting little tr like little cones that looks like, oh, that's so adorable. And a little ball and what looks like a little frisbee. And it's really, really cute. And again, these dolls are so sweet in the face and the quality of them does reflect the price point that you're paying for them. And that's what I appreciate about our generation. Now I have to mention this because I am a boy, I am a man, but as a child, okay, our generation is doing something that no other brand really truly is doing right now. And I say that wholeheartedly, and that is releasing boy dolls, putting boys, okay, not just like in the frame of dolls, like as in like being there with dolls surrounding them, they are literally promoting the idea of boys having their own dolls. And that is something that I think is so unbelievably special about this brand is the fact that they are actively making sure that boys are aware like, hey, we as a brand think it's okay for you to be playing with our products. And we wanna make sure that you're aware of it by having a wide array of boy dolls to choose from, okay? I'm staring at one, this is Elliot, and he comes with a dog as well. He's $26 right now, he's on sale. Like, that's insane to me. As a child, having seen that kind of representation would have made me so happy, because growing up, I never got that. So seeing this brand go out of their way to adamantly be like, we're not just gonna have boy dolls in our line, we're gonna have different, diverse boys in our boy line is so amazing. And they, again, are not afraid from having boys in their, like, ads or anything. Thing, which I love. Accessory packs, let's go to that. So now that we've kind of touched upon the dolls, okay. For accessories, our generation, like I said before, has a ton of different accessories. They have an entire section full of little boxes that have accessory packs from school supplies to popcorn machines, to dogs on their own with little carriers. I mean, they really have everything. And again, price point, price point, price point is so important, okay? Nothing that they've ever released has ever really made me question like, uh, this is kind of like steep for what it is. Like, no, if you're paying $30, you're getting $30 worth and then some on a lot of the stuff that you're buying. For me, when I was traveling to Chicago the first time, I actually went to our generation and I purchased like their two luggage sets that were available because they came with so much stuff. So I purchased that and I was like, I think I'm set and don't really need anything else. The quality, again, like I said before, it does match the price point, which I love. Now, the number one thing I want to mention that our generation did that is insane to me is that they released a dollhouse. Every 18 inch brick, every eight, every inting, oh my God, I'm having a stroke. Okay. Every 18 inch brand should strive for the dollhouse that our generation released, okay? So it's finally back in stock. So run and get it as you as fast as you can. For $349, our generation released one of the cutest 18-inch dollhouses for $349, okay? It's huge. It's stunning. I really do wish I had this in my possession. I've actually been looking to get rid of this couch because I want this dollhouse so bad. Okay, it is something that at this point with the amount of dolls that I have now, I know I need in this house. I need it so badly. If I ever get into contact with this house, it is available. I may purchase it. I may ask for it for Christmas. I have no idea. But this dollhouse, if I ever get into contact with it, okay, I will put out a video going into great detail about it from start to finish 
all of that because this dollhouse is the dollhouse out of all the dollhouses that I have, I would recommend to you, okay? So much space, so cute, great price point. I love this dollhouse and it comes with a lot. This dollhouse may or may not, depending on the comments down below, I may do a video on it. I may convince my parents to buy it for me. I have no idea what I want to do with it, but trust me when I say this dollhouse, if you're looking for something really, really great to get someone for the holiday season, this is the thing to get. Okay, so now that I touched over just the price point and a lot of the things that I love about our generation, let's go over some of the negatives about our generation. When it comes to the dolls, okay? So here's my Melina doll, okay? Most of the time, they have their dolls featured with like a curly hair or like a wave. Unless the doll like has like a really, 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 really refined textured curl, this doll really can't hold curl. It all falls flat, which is something that is a little bit of a pet peeve of mine is the fact that like, I know for a fact I can't ever curl this doll's hair unless I like steam it in and like heat set it. But for the most part, these dolls really do have a very like soft hair that isn't really that hard to like manage if I'm being completely honest. But the one thing that I do wish that these dolls had was the ability to like have the ability to have their hair curled. It's a very big thing. Another thing is I wish that it was just a little firmer so that, that way these dolls sometimes didn't feel so like flimsy with the heads. I wish that there was a little bit more stuffing so that, that way, you know, whenever you're like shaking them back and forth or something, it's not really like, you know, the heads are moving that crazy. I'm gonna be honest, that's kind of it. <laughs> I honestly thought that I was gonna have more negative things to say about our generation, but when it really comes down to it, you guys, our generation is a great brand. I will say this actually, I'm a liar. Clothing options. Something about them, specifically with the fashion packs, I wish that some of the fashion stuff just wasn't so childish. I wish that they sometimes would cater to a more adult audience that is looking for more so basics. Like if they created a basics line, I know for a fact. People would go crazy for that. Tank tops, sweaters, hoodies, all of that. If you guys sell little packs with just basics for your 18 inch dolls, trust me when I say like people will clamor and run for the hills for that. So all in all, I do wish that the quality of the dolls in regards to their hair was a little bit higher. So that way we had more hair play value when it comes to like curling, straightening, all that stuff. And I wish that the dolls were a little bit firmer so that way they are not so flimsy. But for the most part, you guys, our generation is a great brand. If you are not aware of them, I highly recommend purchasing from them. If there are things that you're looking for from certain 18 inch brands that are more expensive, but you want to pay a better price for and like actually receive probably more for, our generation is the way to go. Go to your local Target right now. After you watch this video, go up and down the aisles of our generation and trust me and believe me that they have something new for you to look at, something for you to stare at, and definitely something probably either on sale if Target is having a sale or, you know, our generation themselves is having a sale or look online, see what's there, shop around. But our generation in my books is definitely the Doll Studio by Chris approved. And I am very, very happy with this brand. That's it. I think that a lot of you guys thought I was gonna be like mean about this brand. And like, that's just like not my angle. I wouldn't have them in my dollhouse like the furniture and stuff like that in my dollhouse if I didn't love this brand. But honestly, go get this Melina like face mold. It is like, until you have this face mold, you will not understand how adorable this is. I probably should like play with her a little more when it comes to like her hair because she has a lot of hair to work with. This doll's hair is really, really fun to style. I wish they were wigged. Sorry, that's like a whole other thing, but I know that it would increase like their price point and I'm like very happy with the price point that our generation dolls have. All right, you guys, thank you guys so much for watching this video. My name is Chris. You guys can follow me on my Instagram, which is at the doll studio by Chris. Subscribe to this channel, comment down below and let me know your favorite thing for our generation. And yeah, all right, you guys, make sure you guys also follow me on my TikTok, which is Chris American Girl. I'm always posting on there. And yeah, I'm gonna go make a phone call and see if I can get this dollhouse in my house because I would like to do a video on it. I know that there are barely any videos on this dollhouse. So yeah, <laughs> all right, you guys, bye guys.